here we define the we derive the relation between surface energy and uh, surface tension to derive this we consider here a rectangle frame a b c d for which a b is the slide uh, a b is the wire which can slide on the rectangular frame suppose now this rectangular frame is dipped in a soap solution now across a a b c d a soap solution is formed here now we know that due to the surface tension property every free surface of the liquid tries to have minimum surface area and to have the minimum potential energy so that this uh, free surface of the soap film on the top and at the bottom also means a uh, every soap film has a uh, two layers across the length of the soap film there are thousands of layers but are only the surface top surface and bottom surface are active the remaining are inactive so that the top surface of the so film and the bottom surface mean the front surface and back surface both two are tries to have minimum surface area to have minimum surface area both these uh, pull the wire ab left side with a force f now let us try to find how with how much force there is a uh, stop film and a uh, bottom film means a uh, upper surface and lower surface pull this wire ab left side with what force here according to surface tension uh, definition surface tension is equals to force acting per unit length t is equal to force by length now the surface tension is equal to the force acting is f uh, now this force is acting for totally to a length because the upper surface pulling along the length l and the lower surface also pulling also along the length l totally both the surfaces pulling the wire ab left side with along the length totally 2l so t is equal to force by length is 2l here now the left side force acting on the wire ab f is equal to t into 2l now i want to move the wire ab right side means again as the force applied by the so film through a distance x means that the wire ab is pulled from a b to a dash b dash position through a distance x now the minimum force required for us to move right side is again f means uh, the minimum force required to required for us uh, to increase the surface area also again f now let's try to find uh, how much work should be done work should be done by us to increase the surface area now work done is equals to force into displacement f into x now w is equals to work done is equal to force already we got t into 2l into x uh, w is equal to t into 2l x uh, here 2l x is the increase in area of the surface film here surface film increased by the area 2l x 2l x is the increase in surface area now w is equal to into increase in surface area now w is equal to into let this increase in surface area is delta a now we read w is equal to work by increase in surface area now from this we got a formula that to increase surface area by delta a for a liquid or a so film half surface tension t the work done should be equal to w is equal to t into delta a to increase the surface area by delta a for a liquid how uh, surface tension t the work done will be equal to t into surface tension into increase in surface area now from this i can write t is equal w by delta a now the work done per unit surface area this work done is converts into additional potential energy additional potential energy per unit surface area is called here surface energy means uh, the surface energy and surface tension are numerically equal surface tension and surface energy are numerically equal here the work done is converted into additional potential energy additional potential energy per unit surface area is called surface energy surface energy and surface tension are numerically equal but their units are different this is the relation between surface energy and surface tension